Praise the Lord. All right, ladies girls and gentle boys, this is where we left off with Crazy Mike in there, forcing me to find poor religion. Girl. So I am ready. I'm in a good mood. I just got a haircut. Didn't put any wax in my hair, but don't worry, I'm still beautiful. Now, let's read the sign. <sighs> yeah. Called and chosen. Very humble. <laughs> Oh, they are called and... Oh, okay. I thought it was just like a motto for life. That everyone is called and chosen by God. No recording, thank you. Now. Oh, feel that cold air. Right. Check the guest, maybe. <sighs> thank God for Why are they talking about my brother like that? Oh, so he knows that it's Daniel. Okay, praise to be Daniel. Oh, because it says Daniel. Oh, let me just read that properly. We are so miracle Jesus. Daniel is indeed an angel. Fake. <laughs> Thank the Holy Spirit. I wouldn't worry with another reverence truly. Okay, okay, okay. So it's Defo the Bro Bro. Can I steal some water? Don't need water. Can I steal some money? Oh, I can donate. I'm, hell no. Do I look like I'm going to donate? Do I look like I'm going to steal a pin? I'm going to steal Could a pin. Have pretty much the same ones. <laughs> Cute. Donate to our church. Take a pin. Spread the word. No. A picnic with Daniel? Una picnic. What's going on? Well, he's obviously a freaking angel. Can I go up here? Aha, uh -huh, classroom. Can I go up here? Look at the world. It's the Reverend. Faith. Faith. We hear that word a lot, but faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. Amen. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, you are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift, an angel. A child graced with the power of God. Yes. The miracle we have all been praying for, waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? hallelujah. Do you have faith in his power? Do you have faith in me? Then please welcome our newest member. And our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Praise you, Daniel. Hallelujah. Save us. Save us. Dude, he looks like a Mormon with that clothes. Here is Daniel. Oh, the haircut. The prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. Hallelujah. Yes, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us, to guide us from the wilderness to our destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. This is so awkward. Oh, 
Now we have a voice, a messenger. Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Oh, yes. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless all of you. Amen. Jesus effing Christ. That's awkward as. As our Reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, there's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any yes. questions, please talk to me outside. Bless it's, you for coming today. It's easier to run from the police to, to tear Daniel away from religious people. He knows exactly what he's up against. <laughs> This is not going to be easy. Especially if Daniel is convinced that he's an angel. That will be worse. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> I've been to a couple of Christian get-togethers and it's kind of like that. It's pretty accurate. People getting on their knees, arms up. Hi. Oh, uh... It's something. Hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <laughs> yep. That was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room. And it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. <coughs> hey, what happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Ah, you must be Jacob's sister. Did you get that letter from Jacob back when he was in California? Yes. <coughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's how we met. You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. <laughs> yes. I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. That was great. What do you need? Time to exploit the dumb. All right. Uh, the Reverend take me to Daniel. What is Daniel doing? What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle, and the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. She's adorable, but he's not for you. What is this place? This is our home. <coughs> our church and community. The Reverend Mother says we are all chosen by God. Who is this Reverend? You don't know her? That's our mother, Lisbeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. <coughs> she can't ever sin. The Lord guides her. What does that even mean, blessed by the hand of God? So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. Please don't die along the way. Come on, man, go. Make it quick. Go. Daniel, you're the living proof of their faith, and mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh my... Sean! You came back! I knew it! She's not too happy about that. She's gonna call the cops. You've grown up and I know. Do I look older? <laughs> what? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. He doesn't know. Did that happen at the farm? Oh, he doesn't know. Because of me? I'm so sorry. Yeah, well. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be. But it's cool, man. It's cool. It's in the past. Don't worry about it, man. It's over, Daniel. 
The warp? We just gotta walk on. Does it... hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. I know, right? Shut up. <laughs> it's different. I kinda like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. Look. One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so overwhelming. By the way, my name is Lisbeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Well, not really. No. So Daniel was wrong? Hmm. You can be honest here, Sean. But I first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay. Bitch. Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, Sean. It's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. Of course. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. I'm sorry. I I'm not a fan of religion, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pee on her parade. God, or you? God, of course. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Whoa. Mark three twenty-five. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him. I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I know about that poor man you beat down back in Washington, Sean. This is a terrible sin. And until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry. You don't want to be here. Son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't going to be your golden cow. Daniel? Damn right. Come on. Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me. Damn right, bitch. What the fuck? What a hypochondriac. What, what did you a hypochondriac. Nothing. You. Enough. You spilled blood. Bitch. In the Lord's home. Sean. What happened? Your brother came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. I will pray for you. Oh, God. Then, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy! Punch her for real. Let's get out of here, Daniel. Mm. I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude! What? Daniel! <coughs> Let me go, asshole! <coughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean. Sean. Daniel! There you go. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back!
No, don't smack him. Just stay. He's gonna punch you. Just stay there. Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders. Like you. Oh, I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. That's it. Shit get out of here. See how Daniel will react Daniel, to that. Daniel, hey! Daniel. Sean. Karen. You won't get him back like this. Let's go. Out of freaking nowhere. Sean, what happened to your eye? Cat fight. Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing and that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. <laughs> so you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. Out of nowhere. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. She can just she could just be going there and be like, oh Daniel, I'm your mom, let's go. I mean Daniel's definitely gonna believe it. And he's definitely gonna follow. Oh, this game. I love how it criticizes a certain social group. Like, I don't want to say Redneck America, but it's kind of Redneck America. Poor kid, he's so done with everything. Look at the bruise, damn! Nice! Fresh clothes, boy. All right. Man. Oh, have the swagger. Did it? Oh, sorry, I was interrupted you. Let's have a look at the beautiful Damn. face. Mm. You look bad. You look good. Gotta change that dressing soon. That looks bad. Ah, I can hear like the squishy noises, man. Why do you have to add the squishy noises? Look at Karen's stuff. Sure, man, go through her tampons. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. Did you count her tampons? All right, let's snoop around. Okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. wonder how long Karen has been here. I don't know, let's snoop around and Did check her back. Did you see one of Daniel's? Uh, probably. I know I shouldn't peek, but... Ew. <sighs> Glad to know she learned the lesson. <laughs> nice. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Okay, she likes to eat 
uh, Rancheros Red Style Apple Pie, and she likes coffee. Tip not included. What else do we have? A notebook. Oh, cool. Sweet. Damn. Damn. Karen uh, does like to capture the world around her. There's no fighting bad at beating or tearing apart my core. Early morning blues, coffee. Okay, deep. She's sad. Clementine, 22. Uh, oldest daughter, maybe. She's doing, like, spy work. Writing details about everyone around her. But in a semi-poetic fashion. Alright. Let's have a look at this church flyer. So Karen did check it out. Of course she did. She's Wonder gotta if check. she saw Daniel in action. Ah, uh, probably. This country is just... Way too big. Yeah. Una mobilofono. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. Yeah. <laughs> Buttons on a phone, right? This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. Uh, I don't need this, right? I don't need any of this. These are letters that I already picked up. Didn't know we had a jacket. What's in there? Those stuff. That stuff. And souvenirs that I really don't care about. Okay. A sweater. You've come a long, long way, buddy. Alright. Oh, little Karen wrote a note. Huh. Oh. This isn't her tablet. Okay. Uh, struggles with tons, many open apps. Should be okay for basic browsing. Password is 1127. Hey, technology. Damn right, technology, she man. She came prepared. She did come prepared. You know, a haven point. Mission, accept the Lord, spread the word of Jesus. She did come prepared, huh? She knows everything about haven point now. Gratitude. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm one eighteen twenty four. Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. Oh, yeah? A few tourists from around the world seek religion here, but in the tight knit Christian community of Haven Point, Nevada, a charismatic pastor has inspired a devout following, as she told me in an interview at a peaceful church office. Uh, spent her whole life as a humble disciple of the Lord, feeling the call to share his love and glory in this dark age. I had a powerful experience as a child that put me on the righteous path. She smiles gently and touches my hand, but this is not about me or my story, as anybody in our wonderful church can tell you. Good God. Reverend Fisher just wants to share her blessings with us. I was pretty cynical before I went to one of her revivals. You could feel the electricity when she spoke. People were crying, including me. Oh, my God. Looks like a roach motel. Don't need none but of them mumbo jumbo. Nobody will find me there. Okay, nice pool, but dusty as fuck. Okay, so this is where we are. Be right back. Supplies. We'll get, find out. Grab some food, new socks, shirts in the bathroom, all yours. If they fit, might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he sent. I. Oh, there's another one. I'm sorry, I gotta check that out. Pick it up again, please. There you go. Jeez. It only took Super Mom eight years to give a shit. <laughs> My name is Jacob, and I work with your sons, Sean and Daniel, from Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Even pointing to the piano, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, seven, seven, five, 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 oh, eleven, eight. I am not going to remember that. So do I call him or can I go out? I'm not going out. Okay, I'll call him then. Better wait for Karen in here. But I want to peep. This place is quite remote. <sighs> Good. Hey, they got birds and everything. nobody will be looking for me here. Okay, so let's call the dude then. Do I have to type in a number Karen's myself? always into low tech. Oh, I cannot call. I even think it's the one she had back then. Oh, there's a phone here. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Casino token. A whole dollar. I'm going to turn that into millions. Okay, let's make a call. Hello, Domino's. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to 
come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. The feds are gonna hear. Damn. He couldn't really talk. He knows. <sighs> All this is so messed up. They're listening. So what do I do now? Can I go now? I'm not going out. We're not going out. I know the feeling. Better wait for Karen in here. Alright, well, let's sit on the bed then. Wait for Karen. <sighs> let's just rest while I wait for her. <sighs> if she comes back. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> oh god. Kind of awkward that she puts a condom in the bag and not in like the bathroom bag thingy. Karen. Hey, sorry it took so long. It's alright, Karen. The fucking store was packed. You're packed. How you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken. Alter boys don't fight fair. Yeah, I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Nice. Right? That'll do. <clears throat> Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean. I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago? He didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. Mm. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Mm. We just got lucky. And got some help along the way. Total strangers. We even had our own little family. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did. And why. If you care. So, ask me anything. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. I felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. Oh, let's go. 
<laughs> he was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah, okay. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. Ooh. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. I mean, I do know, but uh, I guess this is what he would want to say, maybe? I'm not. We were a real family. Without you. Yeah. Well, Esteban was meant to be a father. I knew he would take care of you the way you deserve. Except he's dead. We've got no one left. Oh, poor kid, Jesus Christ. I mean, at least she's here to help, you know, it's something, could at least use that. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open, see what happens. So, what did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans. Which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Is that yeah, immature? That's you do that in your twenties before you have kids, you know. You just sound immature, like a kid running away from home. You're right. I do. But I think people should know who they are, and not fake it for anybody. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff. Okay, but why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. 
I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Cool plan, Mom. You heard Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of him. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel, someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or Dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day that was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. Well, that's your loss. I don't expect you to believe me. But I mean it. <laughs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. It's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Donut. Well, actually, it, it's a bonding thing. It's a bonding hey, thing. Hey, um, mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. Still got a few left. Bonding. Better than walking back inside. Like a child. Being upset mm. and pouting. Use your own fire. Oh, cool. wow. You've got principles. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Your dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. This is a nice scene. Oh man, Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much, but when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. And then we'd just look up at the sky and watch the stars or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend, Lila. Sitting on the porch. Just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together. <laughs> shut the hell up and watch the universe do its own thing. Damn. Okay, so go back we inside. We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. I'm not happy with the decisions she made in life. I do understand her perspective. Don't agree with it. But I think she's here for good, you know, to help us out. So I'm gonna let my guard down and trust her. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know it's still hard, but yes, we have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. 
I also got these, just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, Smart. do you need any help with that? Bonding, bonding. Let her yes. poke the eye. Thanks. Let her fiddle so, around. You feel like telling me the story here? Oh. When we have time. Gotcha. Poke it. Like the squishy noise. It's disgusting, but I want to hear it. Like I can feel it. Ah. Bonding. Now comes the poke bit. He can't look her in the eye, so... I don't know, is he, is he ashamed? She's crying! <gasps> She's crying! Squish. Bonding. We did good today, guys. We did good today. Here, try this on. Is it cheeseburger? Oh, damn, she got me a patch! Very sarcastic and very nice. Oh, my God. Sick. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. All right, Karen. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. You hear that, Karen? We're ready to speak to the manager. All right, lady, girls, and gentlemen, boys. This was a good part. We make good progress, and I think we make good decisions so far. This is a meeting point. No, no spoilies. No spoilies. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a very, very fantastic day, and I hope that we can get Daniel out of the damn cult. So, you guys take care now. Have a very nice day. Brush your teeth. Take care. Bye-bye.